Hello friends. In this video I will show you how to change the wheels of a sliding door. A very old patio door from the 60s. A difficult to find replacement part, the exact wheel. So, what some cowboy installers do when they don't find the wheel or aren't up for the job is just to make a hole, to insert a pin like this bolt, making the bolt run along the rail. And that is a crime. The rail was being destroyed, so I searched for the nearest size wheel and I'll show you how I'm installing them. Apparently, the issue was that the original wheels of this door either broke or were destroyed by rust after years of use. So the door didn't roll. It was stuck on the rail. So when the carbon installer put a bolt there, he didn't stop the damage to the rails. Therefore, what we are going to do here, to begin with, is remove this bolt. I also have to remove the shaft of the old wheel and insert a new shaft. This one. And on that new shaft, we'll install a new wheel. We'll see if we can fit it in so it works correctly. To remove this shaft, you can try knocking it out using a hammer, but it's firmly joined by welding on both sides and won't come out in that way. My only option is drilling a hole of the same size of the shaft, 10 millimeters, or first with a smaller drill bit, about 5 millimeters, increasing the size of the drill bits up to the full size of the shaft, removing it on both sides. Then we will have to increase the diameter of the hole up to 12 millimeters, the size of the new shaft. We insert the new shaft with the wheel placed in position and with a few blows of a hammer we force the wheel onto the grooved part of the shaft so it doesn't slip. And once that is ready, I have to weld the shaft to the holes, cutting off the projecting parts. This is the job. The shaft is 10 millimeters wide. It should fall between these points and the midpoint is 5 millimeters. So here is where we will drill. Start with a narrow drill bit. Now on the other side. Thank you. 
This is the old shaft. Now we have to drill with a 12 millimeter bit. The size. Going further, I just hope that's enough. What I have to do now is cut these ends with the angle grinder or the hacksaw, but as they move around, we must grip one end at a time so we don't cut too much. We must cut only the excess, so we grip it here with a vice grip plier before cutting. I've cut the shafts on both sides and now I have to weld them in such a way that the wheel can turn on its ball bearing but not the shaft. So I must place a thin wedge here so the wheel stays centered while I'm welding. Like this. Now I can weld in such a way that the wheel can turn without touching the steel sides. There we are. I finished soldering. Here we have the solder on one side. And of course, we must clean it up with a grinder. And the wheel turns freely. This is a wheel for iron gates, for heavy doors, adapted in this case for a light door. Now I'll put it on its rails. the end and there it's closed. Ready. When we learn something on our own, trial and error is a main feature and errors can be costly. For those learning on their own, it will always be convenient to receive advice from those who have already been through an experience. So I'll leave you a bit of advice.
Well, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, call your friends, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.